Hey, 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 and welcome back to the ranch. We're in for another episode of Dinkum today. I'm your host, DC, and we got a special day in Dinkum. It's not only the holiday season, Julia is also on our island. So we're going to uh, try and get another trophy. Why not, right? We gotta, we gotta have a bit of luck, a bit of speed, and a bit of, I'm not starting off the game all the way across the island on the other side of the island, which I am. So, <laughs> here we go. Uh, wowie. Wowie, wowie. Let's see, we are paused because you know what? I turned down the music. Because I always turn down the music in this game. Listen to it. It's so joyous. It's so happy. What a day. Um... I was playing with this area again, trying to sort it out, but you know what? Julia's here and oh my goodness. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do I have all the stuff I need? I do not because we've been to visit Jimmy and we've been on the other side of the world. And we have friends that give us cool things like a silver pocket watch to slow down time. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're going to slow down the time right off the bat because it's going to take us a minute to get there. Uh, yeah, I was playing with the, uh, the storage area a little teeny tiny bit again last night. Kind of not enough hours in the day to do everything I want to do. Have you ever had that in a game? It's like, oh my goodness, too, too much going on. Too much going on and, and not enough time to do it. We all have those, those issues sometimes, I think, you know, between family and other, uh, um, maybe school or work or family or whatever. We don't get the time to play the games that we want to play anymore. But we're casual gamers and we make the time. So there we go. Hey, they gave us a river bass and a recycling bin. Isn't that nice? All right. We need to go see Franklin. Uh, we have flowers in the middle of the walkway there. That's okay. It's okay. We have crops ready to go. We have crops missing, so the birds have gotten into our crops a little bit. But that's okay. It's quite all right. Um, but yeah, as casual gamers and as, you know, human beings with responsibilities and stuff it's uh, so hard sometimes to play and uh get everything done that we want to do but then, you know it happens it really does and he's closed today so we don't have to worry about him let's just go straight to julia and talk to her now, after Julia's been on my island before, if you recall in previous episodes, she was here before. So, um, it just splashed up at the top of the screen whenever I logged in this morning. Julia's here, and I'm like, oh, I cannot miss this. Because some people don't want to go back and watch the old videos, and that's fine, too. So, Julia's here. <laughs> And we talked to her and says, Theodore told me that I could host a bug catching comp while I'm visiting the ranch. I thought that sounded really, really fun. So that's what I'm doing. If you click, I want to join. She tells you the comp logbook is over on the table so you can sign up there. Theodore helped me to write down the rules on it too if you don't know how to play. So, you can uh, sign up for your bug competition. You can also 
buy this bug competition net. You don't have to. You can use the bug net you already have, but we're going to buy one. Um, I really don't know if there's a difference between the bug competition net and the basic net that you can buy like from John's store, other than price, um, honestly. Uh, let's sign up for this bug competition. Make sure you log your score in the comp log book before the competition ends at 4 p.m. And it starts at 9 a.m. Here's the rules in case you missed it in the last episode whenever we did this. Uh, once you're signed up, he spelled you were wrong, but that's okay. That's okay. Typos happen. Once you're signed up and the competition has started, catch as many bugs as you can. The rarer the bug is, the more points it's worth. Last score you enter in the comp log book will be your final score. You can use the comp log book to update your score anytime as long as it's before 4 p.m. So here we go. We're gonna wait a few more seconds and we're gonna start catching bugs because there's a ton of them here. Now you can go out into the wilderness and find more bugs more rare bugs and they will count more. You know what? I'm gonna grab these real quick while I'm here. I thought that croc was gonna come after me. I was like, oh no don't get don't eat me please. Thank you. See how the crocs are way down here rather than up under the bridge? And yay, one found me. Or I found one. I landed on its head. <laughs> That's not very good. So, we do have plenty of bag space. We probably should have more. That's okay. Um, I believe Julia will also buy bugs. So like if you have extras, you could sell them to her. I'm going to fill up my inventory with these X's. Ah, oh, the bugs comp started. Let's go catch some bugs. Blink. Blink. Run around, catch bugs all day long until 4 p.m. It's crazy fun. <laughs> Now we're just catching little common bugs around here and that's fine if that's if that's the way you want to play that's the way you want to play it's your game uh if you want to go out and hunt the rare bugs you could do that doesn't matter it's your game but luckily it's springtime and there's a lot of bugs everywhere Unfortunately, uh, I, my aim is kind of off. I'm not playing with a, a joystick or a controller. Um, us old people, we used to call it joysticks. Just saying. Um, I'm not playing with a controller, so that may make a difference as well. Oh, no, no, no. I'm kind of a keyboard and mouse kind of girl. Um, I do have a Steam Deck, and I love my Steam Deck, however, however, um, I like my keyboard and mouse better, so I have a, yeah, I have a keyboard and mouse attached to my Steam Deck. <laughs> I'm not currently playing on my Steam Deck now. I'm currently on my main PC. All right, how's the bug comp going? Oh, wait, wait, never mind. I want to log my bugs first. Log new score. 26 is winning. 
current scoreboard. Me with 26 points and nobody else is playing. <laughs> Want to buy some bugs? Oh yes, I got lots of pocket money to spend. Okay, I've got lots of bugs for you to spend it on. There you go. Oh wow. Look at all these really, really, really cute bugs. I can buy them for 27, almost 28k. Thanks. And we got a uh, achievement for doing that. So that's another good way to earn um, those much needed points for your skills and stuff. Uh, so you can level up your your equipment. So these competitions are really cute, really fun, I think. I think it would be even more fun if I had friends on the island with me. And they were playing too, we were competing against each other. I think that would be really fun. Maybe one of these times... I will have to get some people from the ranch community, uh, like from the Discord or whatever, to come in and we do a bug or a fishing competition together. I think that would be so much fun. What do you guys think? Um, are you in the ranch Discord? If you're not, check it out. I got a link in the description down below for that. And yeah. Um, I would love to start doing some island tours. Like if you have an island that you're really, really proud of, or you've spent your time uh, building on, or even if, even if you just want to show off your villagers, hop in the Discord and let me know, and we might we might start doing some uh, some tours. I think that'd be a lot of fun. And I'm gonna run back here and give her these bugs. Oh my goodness, my flowers have multiplied again. Where is she? There she is. This is the crazy side of the street. Let's log our score real quick. Log new score. 55, baby! Wanna buy some bugs? I need lots of money, so... You know. And I need lots of permit points as well, so I will keep selling bugs to you. 37k. Thank you. Let's get back out here and catch some more bugs. Whoa, hello. I missed that same one twice. Really? She's looking like, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know about this bug comp thing. Bugs are squishy and icky. She's just kind of standing there. <laughs> I think she's competing in the bug competition. I don't know. Um, I know in the fishing competition, I remember in the fishing competition, there was some um, NPCs that I was competing against. I can't remember in the last bug competition if I was competing against anybody. I still think it would be so much fun to have people from the community in for these things. And we compete against each other. It would be so much fun. Way to go, uh, James, for adding this into the game. Very, very cute very fun little mini game that actually fits with the theme of the game itself. Usually these games, they've got little mini games attached and it just kind of doesn't fit 
with the theme. It's like, where did they, why, how, you know, did they just go, hey, we need a mini game quick. <laughs> this is well thought out, pretty, pretty well executed as far as I know. Um, yeah, way to go, James. I call him James like I know the guy. I mean, you know, <laughs> I've been playing his game for over a year. Uh, I feel like I know him, but yeah, I totally don't. Totally don't. Alright, let's go sell some bugs. Inventory's full again. Log a score. See if we're competing against anybody this time. Not 96. Who's winning? We got 96. Sally's playing and Franklin's playing and then probably some others. You wanna buy some bugs? I need some money. Uh oh. I had another one down there too, I think. I'm gonna buy some bugs. Oh, I have that bong bong moth still. I'll go ahead and sell that. Sell the bong bong moth too. Why not, right? Come here, buggy. Yeah, what do you guys think? Do y'all like the bug in the fishing competitions in the game? Comment down below and let me know if I'm... <laughs> let me know I'm not the only one freaking out gaga over these little mini games that were added. Uh, or let me know that, yeah, you're crazy. You are the only one freaking out over those. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um... Oh, I got a bite! Ouchie! Ouchie! Meanie pants. I will let you follow me around a while because I'm not concerned about you in the slightest right now. Oh, there's a bug we don't have. Hello. Thank you. Uh-oh. I think we've caught every bug on the island. Oh, we busted our net. Good thing we bought another one. Ah, oh my goodness. My goodness, there's that other bug again that we didn't have before, but now we have two of. Yeah, I also wonder if somebody could possibly sit here and spam dev commands and just smash this game, you know? I bet they could, but why Why would you want to, uh, in a way? Well, oops, sorry, hit the button twice. Who's winning? Of course. We are. It's early still because I hit the um, I hit the little silver stopwatch, so <laughs> that kind of makes the day go a little longer. You want to buy some bugs? Yeah, I want to buy bugs. So I'm gonna take some more some of this money. Oops. Have another one. Yes. I'm gonna take some of this money and buy another bug net from her. You hear my mouse tapping on the <laughs> on the uh, on the table. Does it sound like it's raining? I think it's raining. Let's buy another bug net, though. 
We're gonna go outside and see if it's raining because it sure does sound like it's raining. It's raining! Oh no! Well, okie dokie then. That's, um, yeah, weird and stuff. Look at all the bugs! There's bunches of bugs out now. I thought that since it was raining, the bugs would go away. Kind of like in real life. Um, the bugs tend to go away whenever it starts raining. Well, certain, certain bugs. Um, but no, it seems like more came out. Or yeah, the spiders definitely came out. Uh, I may have spoke too soon. Haven't seen another bug. Butterfly. Got a little flutter by. You are not getting in my field. No, no, no. I know I need to harvest it, but I don't need your help doing that. go down this way and see what there is to see. We haven't been this way very much. <gasps> Look at that one! Is that a new one? Let's check our Pedia real quick. Bugs. Speeders. No, we've got that one. Red and black spider. Yeah, we've got that one already. Can you remember if that was a new one or not? I heard a fly back there, but I'm gonna get the butterflies. They're easier to, for me to see. You know, old eyes and stuff. <gasps> What's that? A stag beetle. Now that's definitely new. We will have to give that one to Theodore. Do I want to trade that for a blue boom butterfly? Yes, I do. That's a frog. I don't think that counts as a bug. Alright, let's head back. We're going to give the one to Theodore. And we're going to sell the rest to his little sister. And... We may eat something too, because our stamina is kind of getting low. It doesn't take a lot of stamina to catch bugs, but it takes a little bit. Let's go see Theodore first. I know I haven't donated a stag beetle. We have so many bugs. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have donated this little stag beetle right there. Oh my, a stag beetle. Our collection is missing a stag beetle. Do you want to donate it? Yeah. All right, what else do I got? I got nothing, buddy. I got nothing. Absolutely nothing. Alright, now we'll go down to his little sister and sell these bugs that are in our pocket. And we'll go out and collect some more. Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's log a score and then sell. Log new score. 
176. We're getting there. Hello, how's the comp going? You wanna buy some books? Yep, please. Alright. Buggy, 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 buggy. There we go. We got rid of a whole bunch of bugs. Let's go see if we can catch some more. Kind of think we're pretty safe for the rest of the competition, but you never know, so. More bugs, more bugs. Catching a lot of flies, we must have our mouth open. <laughs> We're running out of stamina, baby. Uh, yes, we have some pavlova. We'll go ahead and do that. Nummy, nummy. I really, really wish I could get a good pavlova where I live. Pavlova is amazing, I'm telling you. Have we gotten an Emperor Dragonfly before? Let's check our Pedia. Oops, Pedia bugs. Pygmy fly, Tower Emerald, Dushwater, Emperor. No, we haven't gotten one before. So we will have to take that one back to Theodore as well. Oh, my pockets are full. We'll swap out that 4.1 for a 1.1. Pockets are full. Oh my goodness. Alright, up and over, baby. Let's go down through here and give this to Theodore. And yes, I do love the bug competitions as well because bugs are one of the things that I don't I don't catch a lot of bugs. I don't do bug catching a lot. So it's kind of like, oh boy, I get to catch up on, I get a chance to catch up on my, um, my levels that I actually need. So yeah, very cool, very cool. I need to put some stairs down at the base of these bridges. Make it a little more realistic. Um, even though you still climb, but yeah. Put some stairs there, make it look a little more realistic. All right, 
we'll log our score first. 206. Who's winning? Us. Of course. I want to sell some bugs. All of these, please. Yes, thank you. All right, there we go. Back on the trail of bugs. Maybe, I haven't seen one now. I think we ought to go back in and go back out again. Oh, there's some. There's some down this way. I just love the different music that has been added to the game. It used to be the same, almost the same music over and over again. But now it, it just changes up from time to time. One hour remaining in the bug competition! So we need to fill up our basket one more time and start heading back, I suppose. Elf, how can I totally miss that twice? There's a satellite right there. Didn't even know that was there. It's probably been there for a year. Pockets are full. All right. Oh my goodness, there's another one of those beetles. That one's worth 15 points, though. Yeah, I'll take it. I will definitely take it. Where's my town at? Oh, wow, I'm going the totally wrong way. There we go. We put a map point on the map and that way we at least have a general direction to go. Oh my goodness. I'm far away from home. Good thing I turned back when I did. I probably wouldn't have time to get home before 4 o'clock. Here we go. Heading in to log our last score with, you know, about half a minute to spare. <laughs> log new score. 250. Who's winning? Of course. Let's sell these bugs before the end of the competition, too, because why not? Want to buy some bugs, baby? Yeah, sure, I'll buy some bugs. Look at that stag beetle. That's scary looking. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> 42k. Look at that. We got bunches of money in this in this little game in this little mini game. 
So yeah, very cool. I'm loving it. Um, it's pretty much over, so I'm going to check my little flowers here. And get rid of the excess of it. Thin out the crops, so they say. There we go. Yeah. I love all the little flowers in the game. I really do. of that one right there. Just pick up all these beautiful flowers. And we'll go see who won, even though I kind of feel like maybe we either got first or second place. I mean, if one of the NPCs was the last minute to log their score, yeah. Congrats to the winners. Yep, we had 250. John shot ahead there. And there's Sally right behind us. Right behind John. Super cool. All right. Very cool, very cool. I was so excited about the bug competition. I didn't really, really prepare to do much else. So let's grab our scythe and take out some of these crops. I want to trap a doggo and put a doggo in here. We didn't lose very many crops to birds or whatever this time, but a doggo would help a lot. Scarecrows help, but doggos help and all they take is trapping one and dumping them in here. Bad thing also about having a doggo on your crops is you gotta watch where you're harvesting because you can kill a doggo with the with the scythe. And no, I have not upgraded my scythe yet. Probably should. I have the levels to do it. I just haven't done it yet. So yeah, our little garden is going pretty well. I may plant this while we're off screen because it does still take a while to plant. I could get the tractor and stuff, but again, our garden is still pretty small, so I haven't seen a reason to bother with the tractor yet. Um, from what I remember from my uh, my other islands and stuff, the tractor's kind of hard to drive. So, I just haven't bothered. Let's wackadoodle these down and then we'll be good to go on the garden. Nice big harvest. When we sleep tonight, we're going to get a lot of farming points. Crazy amount of farming points. And I'm all very, very good with that. That's why I had a big garden, is so I could get a lot of farming points. I'm not sure if we'll be able to plant today because it was four o'clock before we got done with the bug comp. And yeah, not going to be able to buy seeds. 
but that's okay. We have some seeds in storage, I believe. Um, and if we don't, it's not a big deal. When you're a casual gamer, you just kind of find the time to do what it is you can do and you want to do in a game. So, we don't stress about much here at the ranch. We just keep on trucking. <laughs> These are funny looking because they look like... Um, these cubes that I put out for my cattle in real life. Uh, yeah, they look like cattle cubes in a way to me. So. Cattle cookies. And yeah, someday Someday I'm going to put out a member's video or something and show y'all uh, my ranch in real life and show y'all all the animals and we may go outside and pet them or something and let you know that, you know, some people are afraid of, of cattle and horses and stuff and they're really not, they're really not scary. They're just living beings like all of us. So, yeah. Ah, uh, let's go to the storage area and see if we have any seeds. I'm not real sure if we do. I think we do. But I'm not positive. Not 100% positive. And you'll see my pitiful excuse in attempt to finish this. I got the floor done to here on the on this side to here and on this side to here. I still have to empty out all of these containers and move them temporarily so I can get the tiles down underneath. But yeah, I am making an effort. The effort is is being made <laughs> so let's see if we have any seeds we don't that's okay that's okay it might be in the farming stuff we have a few wheat seeds okay we have lots of wheat 770 wheat now oh my word Okay, so we need to start getting rid of the wheat and the sugar, which means, at the moment, means milling them. And by the way, if you're trying to level up farming, these grain mills also level up your farming. So. If you're brand new to the game and you just got your first, uh, I believe it's the first level of farming. I believe it's the first level of farming or the first farming license. You get a grain, the ability to make a grain mill. Make a grain mill or two as soon as you possibly can. And using that grain mill will help you quickly uh, level up farming. So there's that. Uh, let's go plant what wheat seeds we have. We're not going to be able to buy any more at the moment. But we'll be able to buy some more tomorrow. No big deal. No big deal. And yes, I'm keeping that one cockatoo there for a reason. Um, I want to put it somewhere. I think, I think, I want to put it in, um, 
the museum, but I'm not real sure. I may want to give it to John. Oh, that was actually, we skipped one, but that was actually the perfect amount to go one row down by skipping one. Uh, yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so there's not much else we can do today. I do believe we checked that, but I always get crazy about it and want to check it again. What else do we have in our pockets? We've got stuff we can put in the storage, so let's hop back over there, put stuff up. Take stuff out of my temporary storage. I put down a temporary storage box so that I could empty my pockets to um, empty these storage containers. So all the stuff I normally carry around is here. And some of this stuff I can put up. Quite a bit of that stuff I can put up. So there we go. We made it back just in time to put some more wheat in the grain mills. This one's furniture, plants and stuff. There we go. I thought this and this were the same. They're apparently not the same. They look the same, but they're not. And I really don't want to put furniture, other furniture in there, other than farm type furniture. So, there we go. There's that. I uh, got some raw meat in my pocket and eggs and stuff. There we go. My goodness, it's going to rain all day, isn't it? Speaking of it raining all day, we've got St. Nick up here. We knew that. I was looking to see if we had Jimmy, but apparently we don't. Um, Jimmy appears whenever it's raining in the morning, and it, it kind of started raining halfway or quarter way through the day. So that's why we don't have Jimmy. Oh, we have this wallpaper here we can put. We don't need to be carrying that around with us everywhere we go. All right, let's hop back over to our town. There's so many things I want to do, um, but, okay, so we got, I swear, I thought, saw something fall out of the sky the other night. Maybe someone can go check it out. That's the regular investigation request, and this one is, you might think I'm crazy, but I swear I saw a jackaroo flying in the sky last night. I think something dropped. So this is the holiday one, okay? So let's do those, one of those two anyway, right now, because I know exactly where that's at. Remember, we passed it up a couple times. It's right over here. Somewhere. I thought. 
Ugh. I'm a dodo bird. Where did it go? Oh, it's way down there. And right there. Ooh. Don't know which is which. We'll have to do both. That's just all there is to it. We'll have to do both. <laughs> you know, when you can't decide which one to do, you just do both. Not a big deal. No biggie. Yeah, this is the one we passed up earlier because I was like, oh, wait, why is there a satellite? It's holiday time. I thought it was only supposed to be the um, the Santa bags during holiday time, but apparently you can get both. So, nice to know. Nice to know. Let's go see what's in the Santa bag. We've got a little bit of daylight left. And I feel like we've kind of mastered the ability to run away from crops rather than try and fight them or <laughs> get killed by crazy dogs like that one episode. That was fun. Not... <laughs> so, yeah, I think we've kind of mastered the ability to change our future a bit. Hello there, Fletch. It may be too dark. We might, uh, I might get scared. How far is this? Oh, we're not far away from it. Not far. Not far at all. There it is. Is it on the water? Oh no, it's across the water. I love it. You can see it from a mile away with those beautiful sparkles. Open says me. We got cherries, we got a green festive sweater, a jolly beard, and elf shoes. I think we have the jolly beard from last time. I think we got the jolly beard last time. There's a firefly. Almost mortified to go out into the wild like that, but I saw something shiny and I had to go look. And they're wearing moose sleeping <laughs> is what their shiny was. Don't want to mess with the wary moose sleeping. Uh-uh. No siree, bub. No siree, bub. You know, I've been thinking about this um, museum that we started and I'm thinking that I could come around and decorate this whole backside. I don't know who would see it though. Maybe we could decorate the backside with like some waterfalls and some statues and stuff like that. Maybe. I don't know. But again, like I say, I don't know who would see it. Unless you just happen to come from that direction. Yeah, I don't know. Do we have this moth? I think we have this moth. I think that's the bong bong moth. Bong bong. We do. Hello, cricket. I think we have you too. I think you just jumped in the water. So it doesn't matter. Uh, why are they so hard to catch? <laughs> why am I so terrible at catching them? 
That's what I should be asking is why am I so terrible at it? Oh my goodness. Yeah, nothing new. T nothing new. It's all this old stuff. All right, let's go find a sleeping bag and lay it down. I'm not above sleeping in the rain. I don't have my house decorated at all, so I know there's not even a bed in there. We're gonna sleep till tomorrow. We're gonna call it a day. Guys, <laughs> look at all these bugs. It doesn't even fit on the screen. It's so many. So many bugs. Now watch our bug level. This is going to be crazy. We're going to be sitting here for five hours. <laughs> waiting for the bug level to catch up. <laughs> that is crazy. Guys, while that's going on, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you. I really do appreciate you, and I cannot change that sound. <laughs> well, if you liked the video, please do give it a like. If you didn't, if you liked the video and have a comment, question, or otherwise, Please do comment down below, share on social media, and yes, 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 please do subscribe to my channel. I do love my subscribers so much, even though I've got Ding Dong going back in the back of my mind here. <laughs> From Pinkum, <laughs> along with the music. Oh, please do subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. Until we see each other again next time, please do take care of yourselves and each other, and maybe the ding-dongs will be over by the time we see each other again. Bye! <laughs>